Well, Broad Reach House is one of just a few rehabilitation centres in Devon and Cornwall. Another is Trevi House in Plymouth, which specialises in helping mothers get over drug and alcohol addiction. The residential centre also faces challenges securing funding. We'll hear more about that in a moment, but first to the final report from Claire Manning, who's been speaking to one grandmother who says Trevi House saved her and her family. It takes courage for anyone to go in front of a camera and admit you were once a drug addict. But for a woman, it perhaps takes even greater courage because you know you'll be judged when you admit you were once a drug addict and a mum. Do you mind me asking you, how do you think you were as a mum? Um, probably not the best mum, you know, I wasn't. But at the time, all I knew was I loved my daughter, you know. I didn't connect with her properly, I just knew I loved her. Presumably, partly the reason you didn't connect with her is because of because the drugs. Of the drugs, yeah. Helen first came to Trevi House with her then two-year-old daughter around 23 years ago. Addicted to heroin, she tells me it was a judge in a court of law who gave her the option of coming here or going to prison. I was just so full of distrust when I walked in the gate. I wondered what people wanted from me. I hated it to start off with. But all I knew was I wanted to be a mum. You know, I didn't like what I was. And I, that was, you know, the objective was to get my daughter back and to be a better mum. And um, it took a long time. I had to go through lots of trauma work from stuff that had gone on through, through my life. Um, violence, rape, um, you know, Lots of trauma, lots of guilt, lots of shame, because society deems, you know, people that use drugs and drink, they're not good mums. They shouldn't have their children, and that's the stigma that we carry around with us. Now, the stories I've heard from women this week have not been easy to listen to. One woman I spoke to away from the camera is pregnant with her fifth child but her addiction to crack cocaine and heroin has meant her four other children have all been taken into care. But she told me this time she hopes it'll be different. While working as a family court solicitor, Julia told me time and time again, she saw children taken from their parents where addiction was an issue because there seemed to be no alternative. Trevi, it is expensive, but you have to you have to tally that with the ongoing expense of these women being involved in drug and alcohol abuse, um, accessing health, social services, um, criminal criminal justice, children in care. These some of the women coming here have had maybe three or four children removed and cared for by local authorities prior to being given an opportunity to come here. And for a lot of them, in their late 30s, early 40s, mid 40s, it's the first chance they've ever been given to address the underlying issues. And they're survivors at the end of the day. These women have survived up until this point in their lives. Trevi House says nearly 70% of the mums who come here successfully complete their programme and leave with their children. For Helen, Getting clean of drugs has been a bumpy road. She's had two stays at Trevi. But, she says, the support of this place has saved her and saved her family. This is not a problem that's ever going to go away, you know. You hear it in the news, more people are dying today than what they've ever done using drugs. So this is an ongoing issue for generations. You know, hopefully I'll broke that, that cycle with my family and... Every day I think, how lucky am I to have my children laughing around me, to have my grand grandson running me ragged and hearing the laughter, having friends around. and It, it, is, it's, it's, it is a beautiful thing. Yeah, they do some fantastic work. Claire has joined us to talk a little bit more about this really moving story from Helen there about the support that she's had from Trevi House. But, you know, we go back a couple of minutes just to Jackie's report there. This is a really worrying time for those services, isn't it? 
really worrying. You know, the closure of Broadreach has come as a massive shock to all of us, I have to say. But what I really need to stress here is that Broadreach and Trevi House, they are different places. Trevi is very much open. It is not closing. However, Trevi would agree these are incredibly challenging times when it comes to funding for these places. You know, drug outreach support services say year on year they're seeing slashes to their budgets, yet they're seeing more and more people need support for from them. What Trevi House is trying to do to help for the future is get a charitable bed up and running, thereby if there's a woman in the community whose local authority can't fund them, just maybe they can still offer that woman a bed. But you know, Broadreach Trevi, this 24-hour residential care is really special. Every woman I spoke to at Trevi House told me that is what has made the difference with their recovery. Jolene from Bristol, who you saw last night, she said to me, Clay, you're filming me in the daytime. You should be here in the middle of the night when women need help and there are staff here to support us and that's what we're losing with Broadreach. Uh, before I leave the studio please can I just say thank you to all of the women who have featured in my Trevi House series this week. They were really brave to speak to me and I'm so grateful and I wish them all the best for their ongoing recovery. Yeah a rare insight um, Claire and, and really well uh, really good to see how they're all doing so well as well. Thank you so much.